Hello and welcome students to the section 14 Android pen testing reverse engineering process. In this section we are going to take a look at these points. First of all we will learn about what is the process of reverse engineering, how it works. Then I will tell you what is the task and how we will proceed. Then we will learn about these two tools Dex2Jar tool and JD-GUI tool. So these two tools are really important inside reverse engineering process. So we will also cover it about reverse engineering process in Android. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, information about Android reverse engineering overview, and then what is the process of reverse engineering inside Android machine. So let's start with what is reverse engineering. So in the first point, you can see here that app reverse engineering is used to find out box. So let me tell you what is reverse engineering. Reverse engineering is quite simple. For example, if there is a file, this is an Android file, APK file. So reverse engineering means reverse the process. So now it will be converted into jar file, right? And then it will be converted into the code files where I can check all the codes available inside the app. So this is called reverse engineering. That's how it made and reverse engineering is just reverse of the process, right? So it was created like this. It was the source code, then it was converted into the jar file, and then it converted into the APK file, which is for Android machines. Now reverse engineering means reverse all the process and check. So APK file is converted into the jar file and the jar file is converted into the source code files, where I can check the source code or the programming code of the app. This is called reverse engineering process. Source code can be reviewed by using reverse. Absolutely correct. This is the final process. So this is the source code where you can find the what uh, developer has basically created, what he has typed. So what, what kind of programming languages this app has used. So that can be checked inside the source code. So to get the source code, we need to perform reverse engineering. That's really important because if you have an APK file of Android, then you cannot check the code directly. You need to perform reverse engineering to get that code file so that we can analyze the code inside the application. And then we can find that is there any bugs available inside it or not. How we can do this? How we can perform reverse engineering? This is the process, but is there any tools available that we can use to perform reverse engineering in Android machine? Actually, yes, there are some tools available. We will also perform inside this section. There are thousands of tools available, but uh, we are going to use these two tools, Dex2Jar tool and JD-GUI tool. So these two tools I'm going to use. What is the use of this first tool, Dex2Jar tool? Dex2Jar tools basically converts APK file into jar file, right? This was the first process that it converts your APK Android file into jar file all right and then finally when you cut the jar file then by using jd-gui tool it can be converted into the source code file where i can check the source code available in the application so first of all we are going to we will use the dex to jar tool which will convert your dot apk file into dot jar file and then later i will use jd-gui tool which will open up the source code using this jar file so this is the first process and this is the second process these are the reverse engineering tools we are going to use in this section so this is all about basic information about reverse engineering in the next video i'm going to show you what is the task and how we are going to proceed thank you so much